I love trying out new to-dos and task apps. I use things for a lot of things, but reminders on iPhone is actually really powerful, especially in the latest versions of iOS. So I'm gonna give you five tips for really making the most of the reminders app and helping you get things done. The first is Siri. You probably know that Siri can set reminders like, remind me to get milk today at 2 p.m. Siri will set the reminder, pretty simple. But Siri can actually set repeating reminders as well. You can do things like, remind me to take out the trash every Friday at 7 p.m. And it will actually automatically set up a repeating reminder and you see it says weekly. You can even do things like, remind me every other Friday to take out the trash. And you can see it already set it for every two weeks. And I'll give you one more, remind me on the first Tuesday of every month to take out the trash. And you'll see it's monthly and it'll do it on the first Tuesday. So asking Siri to do those special repeating reminders is actually way faster than trying to mess with the menu on your iPhone. Number two, you can have reminders remind you at a specific location like home or work. It's important to have those work and home addresses set properly so it works. Open the contacts app and at the top you'll see my card. When you tap that, make sure your home and work addresses are set properly. Now you can ask Siri something like, remind me when I get home to take out the trash. And now that reminder will pop up once I've arrived at my house. Number three, you can really set up the Reminders app to feel like a project management tool. You can set up folders and lists within folders, and this way you can organize all of your reminders neatly. Reminders that don't go in a list can go in your inbox. I've created that kind of as a default list. And then you can also pin things to the top. Let's say you wanna create a new grouping, like I have here. If you'd like to edit your lists and groups, tap the three dots in the top right corner and choose Edit Lists. Here I can remove or move different lists, and I can also add list or add group. Adding a group is like a folder where multiple lists can live inside of a folder. You'll see here I have Bearded Teacher as a folder with three lists. And then with each list, I have multiple tasks. If there's a list you refer to all the time and you'd like it here in the top area, you can tap and hold on one of your lists and then choose the pin option. Pinning it will keep it here at the top with your scheduled and today view. And this way you always have quick access to that list, but it does move it out of your folder. So choose wisely which lists you pin. I'm gonna choose to unpin it and then if I wanna move that list back into the proper folder, I can just tap and hold on it, drag it up, and now it's back in my Bearded Teacher folder. Number four, if you have some groups of tasks that you repeat for every new project, like making a video. Every time I make a video, there's lots of tasks involved. When I tap video projects, you'll see I have brainstorming, scripting, all these things repeat every time I do a new video. Well, Reminders now lets you create a template from one of your lists, and then when you create a new list or a new project, you can have all those tasks already set. So from this list, I'm gonna tap the three dots in the upper right, and I'm gonna choose Save as Template. Maybe I'll name this new video as the template. Now I didn't create a new list just yet, but when I'm ready to add one, I can tap Add List, and now if I go over to the Templates view, you'll see I can choose to create a new list with this template, and all the tasks I have set will already be there. I can name this Reminders Video, hit Create, and now I've created a new list, and all of the tasks I already set are already there. Templates are a great way to create new lists for repeated projects that you may have in your workflow. Of course, if you ever wanted to delete a list and everything in it, just swipe right to left and hit the trash can icon. It'll confirm and you can delete it. Also, if you ever wanna change the icon or color of a list, tap and hold on it, click show list info, and now you can change the icon, change the color, or rename it if you'd like. Now, tip number five and one of the coolest new features is that you can actually set a reminder for when you're going to message someone in particular. Let me show you an example. I'll jump into my video projects list, do a new reminder and say something like, ask Nate about art. With that new task created, I'm gonna tap on the eye icon here. Again, you have lots of options for adding a URL, date, time, tags, location. But right here, when messaging is a really cool feature. I'm gonna turn this toggle on and then choose a person. I'm talking about my friend Nate, so let me choose that. And now the next time I open a text message conversation with Nate, this reminder will pop up. Let me hit done and I'll show you how it works. And as soon as you send a text to that person, you'll see the reminder pop up at the top of the screen. And that's how to supercharge the reminders on your iPhone. If you have any questions, drop a comment below this video. I'd love to help you there. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the Bearded Teacher YouTube channel. Lots of tips and tricks. And if you check out the shorts for this channel, lots of iPhone tips there as well. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video.